apologize for that technical difficulty right there, uh, but that's that's what we do. Um, so hello and good morning and welcome to the 2024 gradu uh, Virtual Graduate Studies Expo. Throughout this week, uh, we will be uh, focusing on over 15 institutions that will be hosting webinars to promote various masters as well as Bachelor of Education programs to Seneca students and alumni. Uh, the session that's taking place now is with Brock University. Uh, so we're gonna have a brief, brief presentation I'm not sure if that froze for everybody or just for me. Sheila, are you able to let me know if I'm the problem or if Jennifer? No, I, I think she's having technical difficulties, okay. but I think we could get started. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'm sure Jennifer will pop back on, but thank you everyone for joining me. My name is Becky White Cote. I am the graduate recruitment coordinator for the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Postdoctoral Affairs. I am a two time Brock grad and I liked it so much. I came back to work. So if that, um, if that tells you anything about how I feel about Brock, um, it is a really, really special place. I have lived in the Niagara region my entire life. I did my swimming lessons at Brock, so Brock is very much a part of um, our community and, well, my life. So um, for that reason, I'm very happy to share with you a little bit about Brock. Um, we do have virtual tours and in-person tours. Unfortunately, you did just miss our in-person uh, open house, but we have another one in April. So if you like what you hear today, you can do a little bit of research and come see us then. Um, or anytime if you wanted to book a campus tour on your own. So who we are, um, we are the Faculty of Graduate Studies and Postdoctoral Affairs. So quite a long name, but um, if you come do graduate studies with us, you will belong to the Faculty of Graduate Studies and also the faculty that you will be studying in as well. So we have over 2000 masters and doctoral students, faculty, staff, postdoctoral scholars, and we um, punch above our weight category when it comes to research. So if you are very, very interested in research, please don't count us out. We um, produce a lot of our own research in addition to our profs winning a lot of different research awards. So lots of really great stuff happening. Um, so what's in it for you? One of the main things that I like to talk about is the fact that we have um, an onboarding program, which means that as soon as you click, yes, I accept my offer right up until orientation, we have a whole program that will help you learn about Brock, learn about the programs, learn about what to expect and what is expected of you uh, so that by the time you start classes, you are completely comfortable. You know where to go if you have a question or you need assistance with something. Um, there's also some fun there as well. So starting the community building right from the beginning. Uh, this program was recently um, given a few awards for student engagement um, by, of course, now I forget what it is, the a graduate studies association. I apologize. I can't remember the acronym. Um, but anyways, people are really liking what we've put together. Um, the other thing that I want to focus on is the fact that we have people here to support you. If you are interested in applying for external awards or scholarships, we have two dedicated staff members that are there to assist you with that. All you need to do is contact us or attend a workshop that we put on. Um, and we can help you with that. That being said, before you even apply, if you have questions about anything to do with your application or your program, you're always welcome to reach out to us. One of the things that we offer our students from um, within your programs is we offer a opportunity for you to showcase your own research or coursework through the three minute thesis competition. Um, we host our own conference where students can present and attend other people's presentations regarding their research that happens right on campus. It's a super, super fun day. Um, and we also offer other grad programming. So it's things that are specific to graduate students. So we don't just lump you in with the undergrads. There's a lot of cool stuff happening specifically for graduate students. 
So there's different ways to study with us. Some of you may be familiar with this, but I always throw it in there just in case. Um, so we have research-based, course-based, and graduate micro programs. So research-based programs are typically two years. They are typically thesis-based or MRP. I know my program, the sustainability science program, I did an MRP with co-op. So lots of different options. Some of our programs do have co-op. Um, we also have course-based and professional programs. Uh, the MBA is the one that always comes top of mind, but we have other programs that are course based as well, including our Master of Education, Master of Professional Kinesiology, and Master of Applied Gerontology. So if anybody out there is interested in working with aging populations, that Master of Applied Gerontology is a really, really cool program. The graduate micro programs are three courses um, and they are in kinesiology, public health and education at this time. And there are different specializations that you can choose from. The admissions process, so we do have a handy link there. Uh, it's all over our website as well, so can't miss it. Um, the application deadline varies by program, but the overall process is usually pretty much the same. Um, just please know that applications will not be reviewed until all required documents have been received. We'll be able to see it in our system, but we won't be able to look at it until everything is received. So you will apply via the Ontario University Application Center and fill out your information there, pay the fee. That doesn't go to us, that goes right to them. Um, and then a few days later, because it is a manual process, we'll take a little bit of time, you will get an email from Brock saying, please log into your Brock um, account. And then from there, you will update your documents. You'll be able to see your references, which leads me to my next note, references. We do not require letters. We require only their contact information and Brock will send a form to them on your behalf and you'll be able to see whether it's outstanding or um, owing or received. So funding and tuition, please note that this is subject to change. This is for estimation purposes only. Please refer to our website or your admission letter for all up-to-date funding and tuition information. So for those in a research-based program, we do have funding available for you. Um, it comes in two forms. It comes in the fellowship, which is money that goes on your account. You don't really see it a whole lot. It goes to pay down your tuition. And then the assistantship, which is a TA or RA position that is paid to you bi-weekly as employment income. There's no separate application for this. As an admitted student, you will get this and you will see it on your letter of admission. Not all programs are eligible for funding, so please just make sure you either connect with us or do the research on the website to understand which programs are funded and which are not. But in general, research-based programs do get funding. So I already touched on this a little bit. I apologize that the text is a little bit small, but I wanted to touch on our um, the things that we have specific for graduate students. In this case, GradVantage. So building off of our um, orientation and onboarding program, we have GradVantage, which is a co-curricular program specifically for graduate students that helps you develop in these areas. Um, they call it communicator, community builder, leader, researcher, and innovator. So there's different things that happen under each of those platforms um, that you can attend and learn about within your time at Brock. And it just helps you round out your not only your experience, but your knowledge in all areas of graduate study. So that was a very, very quick overview of what we have going on, but I am uh, happy to talk to you as a recruiter, but also an alumni. So my email is on the bottom of the page there. Um, you're welcome to book a meeting with me via this QR code or by emailing me and we can have a more in-depth chat about your situation or what your interests are and I can lead you towards some of our programs. We have over 55 different programs, so definitely a lot to talk about. So uh, I hope that this gave you a little bit of new information and has um, left you wanting a little bit more. So please connect with me because I would love to chat with you. And if I am not the right person for you to speak with, I will find that person for you. I always try to make sure that I can be that welcoming entry point to Brock. I don't want people just emailing off into the void. Of course, please feel free to email supervisors or programs, whoever you like. But if you need any assistance, please know that I am here for you to help you navigate all of our programs and who you would like to speak with. So Jennifer, that was 
pretty quick, but um, I think that covered most of our key information for new students. We do still have some information sessions happening um, and that can be found on our website. You can email me and I can send you those. So if there's a specific program you're interested in, please keep an eye out because there may be info sessions happening on our end that might be um, good to watch. So. With that being said, uh, just thank you for joining me today. And I would be very happy. I'm not sure if we're doing a Q&A, but if there are any questions, I'd be very glad to answer them um, about programs, life at Brock, living in Niagara, my experience, anything like that. Yeah, thank you so much, Becky. I think I was frozen when I was giving the instructions <laughs> no for the chat. Um, so there is a chat box in the bottom right hand corner. If you want to just click on that little bubble, um, sure. it'll open up the chat. And if you, I mean, we are a pretty small group as well. So if you raise your hand and you, uh, you want to be unmuted, we can do it that way as well. Um, I did uh, just quickly put in uh, uh, Becky's email there as well. It's a great resource for anyone that wants more information as well. Okay, and I see we have a question about a teaching degree. So the good news is we have that. The bad news is I can't necessarily help you with that, but I can connect you to the right people. Um, so the teachers college and teacher education does not fall under the faculty of graduate studies. Our master of education does, um, but I'm very happy to connect you with the right people because we do have different pathways for our teacher education. Um, so the best you're asking about the process, but the best process is for me to connect you with the correct people who can give you a little bit more of a step by step. So please feel free to email me and I'm happy to do that. I know that our uh, teacher education is very popular. Yeah, and then if like, just so you know, um, Benny, our office here at the academic pathways team, we do support students that are looking to apply to masters and we help students with applying to education programs all the time as well. Um, so, I mean, in terms of the actual process, if you're in one of Seneca's undergraduate degrees, you would be applying on the, the T's website. Um, but if you need help with any of that, you can also get in touch with us. I'm just putting our email address in the bottom there as well for anyone that needs further support after today. And I just wanted to make a note, you said it was a small group today, which is totally fine for me. Um, at Brock, we have, I think about 19,000 students, but it doesn't feel that big. It's a community and we, you get to know your professors, your classmates, it's, you definitely get that intimate aspect of being known by your program. Um, like my supervisor, for example, still likes to take me out for coffee, like knows who I am to the extent that they want to hang out with me. So that, it feels pretty cool. I've never been to a place where I've just been a number and I, um, I hope that you guys are having a great experience in the programs that you're in as well. And I just want you to know that that continues. In graduate studies at Brock, it's, it's a really, really good fun place. And like, I can't stress it enough. I know they pay me to say this, but at the same time. As an alumni, it really was a great place to learn and grow. Oh, I see another question here. Um. Okay, sorry, this it's this question came to me privately, so I'm just not sure if you want me to read it out loud. This sounds like it would be an undergraduate question with regards to the length of your diploma or degree. For graduate studies, we typically, like almost always require a four-year honors degree. So it sounds like, um, you would need to add on in order to meet the prerequisite of a four year honors degree. Um, so I'll just put the link here for our diploma to degree pathways, which is something that if, um, if someone's not, uh, doesn't have that bachelor's degree yet, uh, they can take a look at what uh, other options are available. Yeah, that's the one thing we don't have is a lot of um, bridging. So it sounds like you guys are very well taken care of by Jennifer over there. Yeah, so I just posted that link. So I don't know what program you're in. You just want to go to that guide there, Pathways Beyond Seneca. Uh, you'll just look up your Seneca program and then it'll it'll show you all the different diploma to degree pathways uh, that we have. And if you have any questions, just reach out to us. That's awesome. Um, I see I have another question. When um so when would someone typically start applying for grad studies? 
This varies depending on the program that you're interested in. So in general, I would say between October and February, that's when our dates tend to fall. Um, so just going to our program pages, knowing when your specific application date is, that um, that is when you would be applying. So that would typically be within your final year of study. Um, and we are looking at the last two years of study to get your admission average. And some people will get confused. They're like, well, I haven't finished yet. That's okay. We look at what you have so far and your admission is conditional upon the successful completion of the program that you are in. Um, they can form a general picture of you as an applicant with your application documents, your references and the grades that you have at that time. The only thing to note is if anybody is interested in the Bachelor of Nursing, Master of Nursing program, I know that's very specific, but that one is the only one that is considerably earlier because they start in May. Their sequencing is just a little bit different. So if anybody out there is interested in that, please just keep an eye out for those dates. Okay, perfect. Thank you for the questions. That always helps when there's good questions. Uh, I, I don't see any more. I'm not sure if my colleague Sheila um, got any questions in there, um, but if not, that's fine. Um, okay. No more questions in there. No more questions. Okay, great. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would just like to thank thank you, Becky, for taking the time out of your day today to to join us. Um, and just encourage any students to, we've given you a, a lot of different resources here. So you, if you're interested in Brock, get in touch with Becky. Um, if you're looking for other support for other things, get in touch with us in academic pathways. Uh, and we can definitely make sure that, that you're on the right track. That sounds yeah. awesome. Um, and just thank you for having me here. I appreciate the opportunity to come and tell you a little bit about Brock. Of course, there's so much more that I could tell you about, but fortunately, um, this our conversation doesn't have to end here, so we Amazing. can chat again. But uh, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon, and I look forward to chatting with some of our attendees in the future. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.